Hi, everyone. You've probably been seeing a lot of information regarding Pluto's change into Aquarius happening on the 20th of January. It is a very exciting moment. I kind of want to break it down and show you a little bit of what the figures are and what's playing out in this uh, the scene, so to speak. So as you can see here in this picture we have over here on the left, we have Mercury and Mars both dressed up in the sign of Capricorn in Capricorn's office doing business. And we have Sun and Pluto conjunct here. They'll be meeting together on the 20th of January for one last gasp at the very last moments of Capricorn. This is going to be interesting to see what gets revealed at this point, what might be showing up as far as business dealings, profit, record profits that have been going on that maybe have been at the expense of people who are getting paid less than they deserve. It's going to be a very interesting time with what's going to be going on. But what's really fascinating about this time, actually, and very unusual, is that on the 22 minutes later, we're going to be having the sun move into the sign of Aquarius. It's going to be making a radical shift in the way it looks at things, the way it understands and looks at life. Um, the difference between Capricorn and Aquarius is really the addition of Uranus, which creates a vibrancy, an evolution in thought and being and doing. Then 11 hours and 15 minutes later, we have Pluto moving over from the sign of Capricorn into the sign of Aquarius. Well, this isn't going to be the final time that Pluto is going to be um, going back and forth over this point. What will be interesting is that um, from September 4th through 20th of November, it will have one last dance in Capricorn. And then after that, on the 20th, 20th of November, Pluto will move finally into Aquarius and um, stay there for the remainder of the time. So what are we talking about with these with these energies going on? The difference with adding Uranus in there makes it a little bit more, um, it's able to think a little bit more out of the box in Capricorn. Capricorn wants to do business as usual, the status quo, and wants to figure out ways that it can make profit on its return. What's nice when uh, the Sun and Pluto move into Aquarius, I don't know if I'll say nice, well, it remains to be seen, but um, we're going to be seeing a, a little bit more of a focus on humanity and how the energies are working with and how we're treating one another. Um, we're going to probably see a lot more ideological war going on, um, differences in opinion, differences in the ways of being and living, and we have to find ways to transform those old ways of being and move into a space of being able to relate to one another in a more healthy and honorable way. It's interesting to note that this Pluto will be back um, still um, going in um, in Capricorn. Pluto will be in Capricorn through our election here in the United States, which is going to add a lot of tension to what's already building here in the U.S. As you may know, this is also the return of Pluto to its birth point in the U.S. birth chart. And so um, we can expect that there are going to be quite a few transformational processes that happen to the United States over the coming years. If you'd like more information or be in contact with me, please visit my website at coremichael.com. Thank you so much for joining me today and good luck with everything that's going on. It's going to be a really powerful time of change and transformation for us all. And the best we can do is to be informed and find our truth and be our own unique selves because the world needs us all right now.